you can draw this entire illustration in just 10 minutes and you don't have to be worried of how it's going to turn out because this is our dearest Totoro from the neighborhood Totoro itself and today we are illustrating this using just three simple steps we'll have a sky layer cloud layer and Totoro itself so welcome back to my channel and today we are illustrating this Ghibli Studio uh, character if you are someone who is an anime fan or a fan of Ghibli Studio definitely you would love to be a part of this illustration and yesterday I drew Itachi and today I'm just like oh my gosh I really have to draw this character because I think one of the few things I saw watching anime I stumbled upon Ghibli Studio and I fell over hill so that's how much I love Ghibli Studio so we are using coarse watercolor brush and then we are using blending brush to blend it across you don't have to be anything specific just take your sweet time because this is our fantasy this is our world where we just want to be ourselves and we are using a tattoo inker brush to add the shadow of the cloud because the outer layer which will be in a little bit brighter in color so make sure to add multiple layer as you are going to illustrate this cloud layer because we are going to have one of the depth layer and one of the highlight layer and i'm just going to add one fluffy cloud and one scattered cloud on the top nothing much and then we are going to use wash brush from our artist column so once we are done adding our shadow and in depth we are going to slowly blend it across using our wash brush and then i felt like i should start blending but then i realized i'll add a layer of highlight before adding the final layer of highlight hope that makes sense and anyway and uh, now we are back to our wash brush and make sure to follow the size flow and strength and also adjust according to the stylus you are using because i'm using apple pencil first gen and also ipad 6th generation if you are someone who is using the modern the up trending ipad 10 and stylus 2 or if you're someone who's using samsung tablet or redmi tablet or any of those stylus or if you're someone who is using your phone to illustrate this with the help of your finger really you guys are legend and you should definitely be appreciated more and now we are slowly blending it across and i'm just going in a circular motion and there is nothing crazy happening and also i'm trying to bring this lighter darker edge into the cloud and i'm going to slowly across i think the one of the easiest method we could do is just add three more circle around and then just blend it across but this how somehow makes it feel more realistic for me for the scatter cloud i'm just slowly blending it inside in a vertical way and then i'm slowly going to smudge more in and then bring out the edge as much as i can i'm not going to add highlight to the scattered cloud there because i feel how it is and then now we are going to add a new layer for our highlight like i said it's just few circle here and there and then i'm just going to use the same wash brush to slowly blend it across hope uh, it is much easier as it is for me because for me it exactly took me 13 minutes because i wasted three minutes of my time just smudging it around maybe you can just finish it in seven minutes if you're a pro or if you're someone who have already done the throws illustration let me know in the comment which of your is a favorite ghibli movie for me it is definitely kiki's delivery service neighborhood Totoro, and winner rises there's so many i think top three i'll go with this and of course people will talk about house castle and everything but let me know in the comment which is your favorite because i would love to give a rewatch of entire ghibli uh, series studio movie so now we are in the totoro layer and of course i'm using uh fountain pen to sketch this around and i'm doing it free stand first free hand style so first i'm just going to add the edge of the head and then add two uh cute ears and then i'm just going to fill in the layer of course on the left side make sure to add those hairy like structure and then add a big circle half circle uh, where the totoro stomach is around and then we are just going to add our eyes and then we are start filling the layer and now we are adding those eyes and of course we are just going to add the pupil as well and then we are going to add this cute little noose on there and i felt like the eye does not look good so i have to delete it back and then redraw it again now we are adding this cute noose of the throw and once then we are just going to fill in the layer and of course if you are a beginner for me one of the first thing i would ask you to do is take an image of the throw and trace it out and then fill as i'm going to do in this step if you are someone who is okay with using your free hand you can definitely 
go ahead and if you want to actually not do freehand just do the best use the symmetry option in the top toolbar and then you can actually get the exact image on both side you don't own don't have to worry about adding two ears two eyes just one and then you will have an entire illustration now that we have add all these highlights and the rest i'm using blending brush to slowly blend it across near the ear because i feel the highlight is little too much and of course the whisk look a little bit darker here so i'm just going to smudge it across and once then we are going to add a new layer to add shadow to the tuturo itself because it looks like the shadow of it is falling on one half of the image so we are slowly going to blend this across and it's going to take us no less than not more than one minute because we are just going to add a few more smudge here and there and now we are adding a new layer to add those highlights just don't worry because we are just going to reduce the opacity of the layer now i'm currently filling it across but at the end i'm just going to reduce the opacity looking like a shadow has fallen of course we can use the lighter color rather than doing the opacity reduction reducing of the layers opacity but i felt like this is much more uh, easier for me because i can actually see where it's uh, pointing it out so i'm just uh, doing a few arrays and then redraw again so that i want it to be as cute as i want so just one we are, once we are done we are going to reduce those opacities and we are almost done with the illustration if you're new here please make sure to subscribe if you're already a subscriber thank you very much for your support it means a lot to me and also if you are not a part of a, a newsletter definitely you should be a part of because everything i've learned in this week i kind of just and pin it down my feelings to you and i share it across from my inbox to yours and it's absolutely free and also i'm going to leave those link in the description and also in the cue card so make sure to go ahead also every sunday our community has a podcast where it is a uh, from my part to you and we, we talk about how we can improve our daily life by adding some uh, meaningful activities in our life and be the best we can so see you all tomorrow till then have a great life enjoy yourself there is no nothing to worry about you're doing your best see you bye bye